first Dollar Tree haul of 2018. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back with my first Dollar Tree haul of 2018. And I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got. I did go to two Dollar Trees. The first Dollar Tree I went to was my little small Dollar Tree here in town. I spent about 25 bucks. I bought a couple of cute things, things I still wanted to share, but nothing like completely exciting. Today, I went out to Trader Joe's and to BJ's in Uptown Charlotte, and I happened to have a gift card for World's Market, so when I stopped in that shopping center, there is a huge Dollar Tree. I've only been in one other time before, and that was to just kind of look for a few wishlist items, and I never really got a chance to look around. So while I had the time, I went inside, and I scored so huge so i'm so super excited i did end up coming home and finding out that maybe i didn't score like gold new gold i thought i was like uncovering completely new gold because i hadn't seen anybody haul it but apparently it has been floating around but it's completely new to me and i'm so excited that it almost took my breath away so i can't wait to show you everything i got so let's get into my 70 dollar cumulative dollar tree haul i'm gonna start with a couple of like household item things and get them completely out of the way so I did end up picking up this old orchard apple cider we really loved this and I thought maybe it was gonna go away after the fall season I'm not really sure if maybe this is residual but the expiration date is good up until October 31st of 2018 so it's still long and good and we go through this so fast and it was really delicious so I picked up one of these have to haul at least one bread product in every one of my Dollar Tree hauls. And this is the Cobblestone. This is the Sweet Party Roll, so very similar to a King's Hawaiian. And I'm going to do cheeseburger sliders for Super Bowl. And we go through them so fast. And we I even bought some already at BJ's, but for a buck, I couldn't beat this. So I'll end up doing even more sliders because they go so fast. But that's what these are for. A bunch of stickers for my planner I started a new day planner for 2018 it's the first time in my whole life I'm ever using a day planner and I'm having a lot of fun because I'm journaling and it's really kind of exciting because it's like scrapbooking and you get to use all these cute little fun stickers and it's really fun so I picked up these Valentine's Day ones just so I can use this during the month of February oops I dropped one these were marked down to half off still because it's all the Christmas ones, but it had some snow stickers in there and we just had a snowstorm, so I thought that would be really cute to use that to journal for the day. I used, got these cute little ones. I love them with a the little spoon and fork and just kind of like the old time kitchen feel. I loved these. I love all the things like that they're just like goofy, like just didn't ask mom for help and you know being an adult is hard and all that. So I thought those ones were super cute. Let me grab the one I dropped. So I also just grabbed this one. These are like little sentiment stickers it says. It says like awesome, whatever, hello, blah, blah, blah. So I thought those would be cute to use for my planner as well. Picked up a box of these pecan shortbread cookies. I've hauled these before. They're absolutely delicious. This is my guilty pleasure. I love anything with any kind of walnut, pecan, almonds, that kind of thing. So these are really good. They have ones with chocolate chips. I've tried. I don't like them as much. These plain old regular shortbread cookies are the way to go. Nothing too exciting about tinfoil, but I needed some, so I picked it up. So these were new. I've never seen anybody haul these before, but these are like Velveeta cheese sauce packets, which I think is really neat. I do say, no matter how organic I try and be, that nothing comes out as creamy and fabulous as Velveeta. So if I'm ever looking for that like really, really cheesy, like in a broccoli or something, I seem to lean towards Velveeta. And I buy the blocks of cheese, but no matter how much milk or you follow the directions, you never really just get it like as creamy as you would like it to be but these are like already 
like um, squeezable packets, like very similar to how it would come in the box of mac and cheese. So I got two of the regular ones and then I got one of the jalapeno which I thought this would be really good to add like to Rotel tomatoes and do like a spicy salsa for the Super Bowl. Last little house things I got, I got a couple of those like wall uh, art stickers. This one just says enjoy the little things so if you guys know me you know who I picked this up for. I picked this up for Vanessa. I'm not sure if I've given this to her, if someone sent this to her, or if she's hauled this before. So if she didn't, then I got it for you, girl. If she has it already, I think I'm going to send it to my girl, Angel's Haven. She wanted my um, but first coffee sign. And ever since that one time that I went and cleaned them out, I've never gone back and found anymore and I've looked every single time for her and I've never found them so I wanted to send her something because the only two I had were gifts besides the one I bought for myself so I wanted to try and find her one I've never found it so I will send her one of these um, if Vanessa already has this one and then these I bought for myself and I've never seen these um, this one says love has four paws and it has like the little paw thing on it. So I thought I would actually stick this on the wall above where the dog's bowls are. I don't know, just thought it would be a little cute little decal to add to spice up the doggy bowls area. And then um, I think I grabbed one on accident, but it's really cute anyways. I was, that's why I was like puzzled for a second. I was reading it because I didn't remember getting it. This one says, challenge your limits, don't limit your challenges, which I think is a really, really cute. I kind of like that little inspirational quote. Maybe I'll put this somewhere like in an area where they do homework or something like or above Jake's desk. I don't know how I ended up with that. Maybe I'll save it for a giveaway or something. I don't know. I was like reading that kind of puzzled. Uh, and this one is the one that I bought for my room um, up there in this gallery wall thing that we have above our bed is like where my husband and I keep all of our wedding memorabilia and stuff. And this was something that was read at our wedding and we have the bottom half of this saying already up on the wall that's a Dollar Tree wall decal. So I got the first half and I now I can just put the whole thing together and the whole scripture will be on the wall above our bed, which I think is gonna be super cute. Got a couple of makeup things for myself. So I just tried BB cream for the first time ever. I know where have I been? I've probably been living in a box, but it's absolutely fabulous. I truly love it and I feel like it's easy for me on a day like today where I'm not going out, but I'm just doing filming. So I just want to spruce up and not look like I look when I first get out of bed, but not want to put on a full fa face of foundation. Uh, and then I looked for it in Dollar Tree. I couldn't find it. I ended up buying one in Walmart, loving it. And then when I went to the other Dollar tree they had it so I did get the sassy and chic BB cream and this is in the medium one and no Dollar Tree haul is ever a Dollar Tree haul without getting fake nail wasted if they have them in stock so of course I'm always stocking up on new ones and this one I absolutely love it's the light pink with like the marbleized blue and like a silver foiled line I thought that was really pretty like the different I like that you could do like a special nail. Sometimes Dollar Tree just has like all the French manicure. It might have a cute little decal, but not the decorative different nail. So I love that one. I love this one as well. It has like a neutral pink and then the gray and white um, little special nail, that special decal nail, which I think I may save for my um, final 50 Shades of Grey party. So I think I'll save that one for that. This one I loved. It's the same color, but the decal is just those little like gold, different emblems and wisps, you know, kind of similar to what I'm wearing right now. But it's a very pretty maroon color with the gold embellishment. So I really liked that. Very fallish almost, but, and then here's another one of those ones that are like a periwinkle almost with these are the specialty nails in here which have like greens and blues so super cute a lot more to add to the entire drawer collection that i have of sassy and chic press on nails because as you guys can see i wear them all the time and i love them
Okay, let's move on to some Valentine's Day stuff, stuff that I bought that's Valentine's Day related or stuff I bought for the kids that I'm going to give them for Valentine's Day. Uh, so I got two boxes of these Junior Mints, the uh, heart shaped ones with the red mint inside, ones for the hubby and ones for the best friend Paul. Got a four pack of these Sour Patch little conversation heart candy ones, figure three kiddos and the hubby, so that works out perfect. Two of the Dove dark chocolate. As you can see, both my husband and Paul love dark chocolate, so I picked up a one for the hubs and a one for him. I thought this was kind of goofy, so this is popping candy lollipop. I would never usually let my kids have something like this, but being that's just a special treat for Valentine's Day, and it was a three pack, so one for each kiddo, and it's a flavor they all would like. So it's a blue raspberry, strawberry, and green apple. I guess like a Pop Rocks lollipop, so this will be cute for sitting on the table. I went a little toothbrush crazy for the kids, but I've never seen any of these cute ones before, and can't go wrong with toothbrushes, right? It's always something cute to give for any holiday, and I'm kind of neurotic about changing our toothbrushes really often, so I did get these Hello Kitty ones. It's a three-pack, so how do you beat three toothbrushes for a dollar? And then same thing with these incredible... Um, Secret Life of Pets, not Incredibles. Secret Life of Pets is a three pack of those as well. And then a two pack of the Thomas the Tank Engine. So the kids will be stocked up on toothbrushes for a while. A couple of things for Mason Boy to put out for Valentine's Day. So I saw these little thing of safety scissors and he's been dying to practice cutting. So I picked up that for him. And then he's also been really big into Play-Doh. So I picked up the three colors. Looks like purple, blue, yellow, and red. So it's a little hard to find things for my big boy to give for Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is kind of like tchotchke cute things and he's 13 now and a boy so it's kind of hard to find certain things but he is into emojis and I ordered him the emoji movie for Valentine's Day. I know it kind of seems a little much to give uh, movies for Valentine's Day but each one of my kids are getting one but that's because we live in a very remote area so even to get to a doctor it's 45 minutes to an hour away so we're constantly watching movies on the DVD player in the van and they get tired of the same old thing so I'm forever buying movies because it's the best gift for them because it gets used over and over again so being that he's getting the emoji movie I figured I would go and stick with the theme so I found these little emoji antibacterial little wipes with the backpack holder so I thought that was super cute I think Jake's gonna like that and then recently he just started drinking Dunkin Donuts coffee he took a sip of my coconut cold brew and thought it was delicious so I just found this little emoji coffee mug and I thought that'd be really cute for him like to officially have his own little coffee mug so I think he'll like that just a few home decor items for Valentine's Day. That was really it. Not a whole bunch, but I fell in love with this. No pun intended, but how sweet. They have this in so many different colors, in silver and in red. This is just the pink one with the L-O-V-E and the heart as the O. And it's just going to sit on my floating shelf, but I love that. I thought that was so cute have to buy a candle in a Dollar Tree haul, right? And this one just says Anchors Away, and it's got the little nautical theme to it, and it's pink, and it says it's the rose collection, and it smells like roses, but I think I'm just going to keep it here in my room because we're kind of doing a nautical theme that we are changing our room over to. It's going to be really blues and grays, but I thought this would be a nice little pop just on the shelf over here, still tying in all the nautical, but just that little pretty pink. So I'm going to use that for up there. And last but not least for the Valentine's Day, I got two signs. So this one says follow your heart with the wood green and it's got the heart decals with like that ombre colored look. I love that and they're all separated wood slats. So I thought that was really cute. You hear my dog barking because there's a leaf moving outside. Uh, and then I got this wood one. I love this with the galvanized hearts. Very like farmhouse look, which is just the thing lately. And I love that. And it says the L-O-V-E going down and it hangs this way. So definitely will be a cute additive to my Valentine's Day decor this year. Okay, guys, you ready? Drum roll, please. 
The end cap that I stumbled upon that I was completely blown away by was a Bolero end cap, which we all know that the Bolero was hard to find, but this was like four colors of scents I've never seen before. And I pretty much bought whatever I could find one of each thing, and I'm really excited about it. So uh, I did pick up the Lemon, Verbana, and Mint. It's the green one, and I found a lot in this one. And I actually think I'm going to send this to Nicole Burgess. I, I know she loves that scent, and when we were conversating back and forth about what I found, she told me she's never found these ones before. And we're talking about, like, one of the queens of Dollar Tree, and she's never found this. So I kind of want to, like, send her a little bit of everything, and I figured this is the scent she probably would like the most. So here are the facial wipes in that lemon, verbana, and mint. And then here is the hand cream. The soap which I love the detail on this box. Do you see how pretty that is? It's like even prettier than the oatmeal and apple cinnamon ones, like really cute. Um, and then the body oil. Uh, was that all well, I was able to find? Oh no, 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 no. And I was able to get the hand wash too. So she has a hand wash and a body wash and a bath soap and a body oil and the facial wipes coming to you, girl. So keep a lookout in your P.O. box because I'll be sending that your way. Uh, and then I found the Argan and Shea Butter, which happens to be like one of my like really favorite scents as far as a lot of beauty products like hair masks and stuff. So I picked this one up. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet for myself. Uh, and then I got the Argan and Shea Butter Lotion. This is the Bath Bomb. And then the Hand Wash. So that's what I was able to get in that sense. And then I was able to find the lavender and chamomile one. Sorry, there's like a glare coming through my window. Let me try and close my blinds a little bit better. Um, so that's the lavender and chamomile one. And then for that one, I was able to get the bath bomb. And then the bath soap. Look how pretty that packaging is. It's just so gorgeous. I love it. And then the body cream. And I think that was, oh no, and the body wash. So that's the one I was able to get for that one. So really excited. Like I've always mentioned, these are so diesel, these big containers. So I think it's a great value for a dollar anyways. Plus it's Bolero and it's these all natural products and they smell fabulous and so on and so forth. But when I got down to the very bottom, the very last color on the bottom shelf was like a game changer for me because it's like my two favorite scents put together and I was over the moon. So this one is the coconut mango and I wish I could have found like this in every single thing, but I was able to find this in the body wash and where's my hand soap? I don't, did I not find a hand? Maybe I didn't find a hand soap of that one. Boo, that's so sad. I thought I pretty much got everything in that one, but I guess not. That's really sad. I'm going to have to go back. Uh, so I did get the body cream in that one. I got the face wipes, which I cannot wait to use these. I heard really good things about these face wipes and then that scent. Uh, and then here is the bar soap. Again, the packaging is just beautiful. And then the roller body oil, which I'm going to throw in my handbag, which I think will be perfect for having the smell on the go. Okay, guys, so that's it for my super huge, large, massive Bolero jackpot score, Valentine's Day food stuff, and all that good stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching and sitting through this really long Dollar Tree haul. I know it was kind of like long-winded, but I love explaining all the things that I got, and I love showing my enthusiasm for my super awesome and solid DT scores. So if you guys are new, I hope you'll take the time to subscribe. I do try and do at least two Dollar Tree hauls a month, and there's so many variety of things on this channel. And for everybody else, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in my next video.
Bye guys. It's in